Hi everybody, welcome back to Shell Star Stitches. Um, I thought I would do a video for you today about a company I found last March, so as lockdown started, um, that I've become slightly obsessed with, as one does when they find this company. Um, and it was featured quite heavily in my Ali Pally video. So today I'm going to talk to you about Toft. So um, a friend bought me a Toft kit <clears throat> in just before lockdown. We went to a little craft fair near us and she bought me um, a thing called Arlo the Otter, which I made in lockdown. So then I searched online thinking, oh, do some more crochet while we're in lockdown and found the Toft website and then found some Toft groups on Facebook. So there is one called Toft Addicts. So that will, you know, suggest to you how much we like the Toft range. So I'll give you a bit of a background of what I've learned since finding Toft and I will show you some of, I've got a little pile down here of bits to show you. So um, Toft is run by a lady called Kerry Lord. Um, I think though it's a family business, so I don't think, I think she, parts of her family, etc., are also involved because originally it was a mill for yarn. So they've got alpacas um, and they, they were basically spinning and creating hand dyed, you know, dyed hand spun yarns. Um, and Kerry had her son, her first child, um, and I think got into crochet and then designed some patterns. So um, I'll show you the first, this is the first book she did called Edward's Menagerie. So her son is Edward. And I think she crocheted him um, made up um, a toy and then decided to make some patterns. So what's now happened is there are a wealth of books with patterns and kits now. So Toft isn't just yarn. They do sell yarn on its own, but they also do crochet and knitting kits. It's probably a little bit heavier on the crochet, I'd say, than knitting, but they have a range of both for, um, for those who can do either or both. I can knit, but only badly. So we don't knit. We give anything knitting to my mum and she does it for me. Um, so this was the, yeah, the first book. So you can see lots of different um, animals in here. It's animals. So it's over 40 patterns um, in this book. You've got all the pictures of what you can make and all the patterns. So I have got lots of toft kits and yarn, but I've also been collecting the books as well. Um, and we did get a few more at Ali Pali. I bought myself a couple and my mum bought me a couple that she's going to give me at Christmas, which was nice because I could get them signed by Kerry while I was there. So I will try and lift this box up. It's very heavy. Oh, my books. Oh. So, these are my books, if you can see. So, um, we've got here an Edwards Crochet Doll Emporium. Uh, which I love because actually you can flip through the different sections so you can mix and match head, body, costume and legs. So you could have, I don't know, a, girl, a girl's head and I don't know what that is, a woodcutter's? It looks like a woodcutter's body. I'm not really sure. So you can mix and match in this book um, as to how you build. So you can literally have your own unique doll depending on which bits you flip over. Um, so yeah, that's one of my books that I like because I, I do like the dolls. So I did the Advent doll last year. Um, then we've got an Edwards Menagerie new collection. Um, that was the second book um, in Kerry's collection, I think, a menagerie type book. Go through these quickly if I can. The Ordinary Menagerie. We've got birds, all different types of birds there, which are really cool. My dad's a avid bird watcher, so that so I can make him. I have already made him um, Desmond the Blue Tit. I gave that to him for Father's Day, I think, last year. Um, I've got one of their quarterly magazines that I purchased, um, but also these little quarterly books, uh, The Dinosaurs and the Sheep, which are the ones that I got at Ali Pali. So you can see that Kerry's signed in the front there for me. And then I think my mum bought me the Primates one. And I can't, oh, I think the Edwards Imaginarium book, which is like mon not um, Edwards Monsters. And then um, last year, uh, came out just before Christmas, Partridge in a Pear Tree. So all birds, but all obviously related to the song. Um, 
And again, I think that one came signed because it came here yeah, direct from Toft. And when you buy the books directly from Toft, you get extra patterns. So you get bonus patterns because um, when you set up an account, you get a My Toft area and all your bonus patterns get popped in there and they stay there um, forever. So you can always access them again. They're PDFs. So you always get, I think this one came with a load of mini birds. Um, and some people did really well last year. This book didn't come out that long before Christmas and they managed to do all 12 of these. Um, so they had their full partridge in a pear tree. I haven't done any yet. I will. And then the four books that came out throughout last year, um, different ranges that Kerry did. So we've got Farm, Pets, Wild and Ocean. So these are all minis, which is really nice. If you want to knock up a quick item as a gift or, or just, you know, something in an evening. I think pretty much most of these can be done in an evening. So we've got farm animals. We've got pets there. And they're not, obviously, if you see there's a chameleon. Um, they're not all just pet. I mean, on the back is a spider and a turtle or a tortoise. Tortoise, probably. Um, you know, they're not all your traditional. Let's see what we've got in here. Can't remember. Um, Bunny, Labrador, Cockapoo, Tortoise, Gecko, so yeah, non-traditional. Goldfish, Axolotl, uh, Mouse, Pug, Tarantula, Chameleon, Iguana, Cat, Guinea Pig, Chinchilla. Yeah, so it's not just, you know, your cats and your dogs. You've got your slightly more unusual pets there that are obviously becoming more, more popular. Then we've got wild, so all like your safari type animals, your snakes and your elephants and zebras and things. There's crocodile as well, which is pretty cool on the back. And ocean, which is the last one. So yeah, these are really nice books, really, really nice. And they're really reasonably priced as well. Um, and they've got really nice pictures inside um, with your pattern. But they've also got, I'll show you at the beginning, sort of essential tools and how to so really good sort of covering off the basics if you're a beginner um and they progress i think through the book they progress they start at a beginner level and then they start to get more advanced as you go through the book which is quite nice so if you're new to crochet you can start at the beginning of the book and work your way through as you get uh, more skilled at it so those are my toft book collections in my heavy box um they do paper patterns as well so some of the kits come with you can either choose to have it as a pdf pattern or a paper postcard pattern um i've got a book somewhere with lots of postcard patterns in as well um which i when i'm doing crochet i prefer to have a pattern in my hand really to touch and, and mark off so um that's quite nice for me but those are my topped books we move on to the next so oh as part of Toft, they have um, some subscriptions. So you can get, there is a Birds Club subscription. Um, there is a Dolls Club subscription. Not all of these are monthly. Some of them are quarterly. Uh, some are bi-monthly. Um, Birds Club, Dolls Club, the quarterly magazine that I showed you in there. And also a Pin Club. And me being the collector, I thought, oh, let's have a look at these. I bought some pins and now I'm a pin collector. So this is my, I just bought a little um, magnetic box frame thing from Hobbycraft so that I can keep adding to it. So zoom in without a bit of glare. So these are my pins. I'll take them out for you so you can see. I've actually um, bought another one of these now because I'm running out of room for all my pins. So this is my pin collection. These are my newest to arrive, the three wise men because the Christmas range has just been released on Toft and we've all gone a bit mad for Christmas. So um, some people have got a full collection of these and when they started, um, I'm not sure when they started, maybe a couple of years ago now, um, some of the rarest ones, when they get sold on, they do go for a lot of money, unfortunately. But I tend to buy, I'm a subscriber now, so every two months I will get a pin, but some of the older ones I've bought um, when they've been reasonably priced, like if I've made the kit or um, if I just like the pin, really. So we've got, you see there, ones I've probably, I made Emma the bunny. Um, I've got like a Bonnie the horse to make. Um, got some Christmassy ones here. This one was from the advent um, last year that I did, the dog's advent. This was from their recent 15th birthday. 
with each of the books that I showed you, the pets, the farm, the wild and the ocean, you by pre-ordering with Toth, you got a pin badge to match each, which is nice. Uh, we've got Florence the Orca there, Dave the Seagull, this is a Vampire Squid, I can't remember the name, uh, but that was the most recent one. Uh, Joanna the Lobster, this is the Birds Club pin, because I did sign up and do a couple of Birds Club. Uh, I can't really see there, but that's Victoria the Triceratops, I've made her. Um, so yeah, so I've been attached, all I've done is, funny enough, this is looks messy on the back, it's a bit of box from one of my toft orders, my toft box covered in a bit of fabric and then just pushed all my pins through and then pop it in my box frame. So I'll have another box frame ready to go because yeah, yeah, almost run out of room. We've only got a bit of room here and here. So pin club. So there is that. Another slight obsession that everybody has with toft I'll bring this up, is patches. So you've probably got a bit of a glimpse there. I will show you what they look like because um, I've got a few patches I need to add to my collection so I've got a few recently so let me show you so these are what they come like um, so I got this patch at Ali Pali this is um, Natasha the two-toed sloth Natash the sloth so I met Tash and got her got a sloth patch um, and when I got this at Ali Pali this was the first time she'd given them out because she'd only just got her own patches so basically each member of the team has their own animal to their name um, and their own uh, patch. So when you meet them at shows, etc., if you get the chance to talk to them and share your stories about Toft, you might be lucky enough to get a patch. Um, so yeah, they're all after staff members. So that's Tash. Then recently um, there was, because to Toft team up with Create and Craft a lot. So they did um, some kits on Create and Craft that also had patches because they realise a lot of people in the last 18 months haven't been able to get out to shows for COVID and also for when they're obviously being careful for their own situation for, you know, health reasons, etc. So they did release a load of kits on Crane Craft that came with patches, um, which is quite unusual for them. They don't normally do that. Um, they've started to with the lockdowns um, and everyone went balmy for them. They all like a lot of them sold out the night before even the live show on Crane and Craft. But I did manage to get in there and get two that I wanted. So this is Joanna the Lobster. This is a mini patch, a small one, because there was a lady called Joanna that worked for Toff. She's unfortunately now left. But this was one of the very first patches, the lobster, um, and it is like gold dust. Um, but I'm really pleased. I don't, I don't mind this as a small version and not the original sized version. Um, I'm really chuffed just to have a Joanna. So that's another one I've got to put on. Then I've got Evie the Chihuahua, met Evie at Ali Pali as well, um, so yeah, got that to go on. And I've got Rachel the Bedlington Terrier, which I also met Rachel. Um, so yeah, so I've got those four to add, um, but basically what Toft do is this <coughs> that you can kind of see here is my Toft stash bag. You can buy this directly from Toft or from Crate and Craft for the Toft, um, and it is basically a place for you to put all your toft stash because we all know we've bought hundreds of toft balls of wool etc um but also it's a place for you to put your patches so i'll show you the back first because i haven't got that many on the back i lift this up so you can see so i have my golden pear there which came with the partridge in a pear tree book last christmas because i got it direct from toft and then these two cupcakes um as part of toft's birthday um, celebration this year so I was lucky enough to get the purple, I think it's amethyst, is in the, I'll put that down, silly, in my um, box. Because what they were doing was you could get a free patch when you place an order. So it was a random colour. They did nine different colours. So I've got the purple one, which I was chuffed with. And then I bought, on Creating Craft, they did the kits of the cupcakes. And you could select your colour. And I bought the orange. And that is because the purple and orange were our colours at our wedding. Um, my husband is obsessed with orange and I'm obsessed with the Cadbury's purple. So I just got the orange to go with the purple because I thought that's quite nice and it means something to me. I know a lot of people did collect all nine. I, I ran out of space on the stash bag if you collected all nine. I don't know where they put them, um, but each to their own. Some people want a full collection, so a full collection would be all the colours of the cupcakes. And then if we turn it around onto the front, I'm going to hold this up as best we can. Oh, 
so they're all on little shelves so the shelves are pre-printed on the bag so we'll try and go through these i don't know if this is right to left or left to right on your side but anyway pascal the mandarin duck we've got there samuel the koala we've got kerry the chameleon who is kerry lord's um animal uh we've got lucy the hare this is testing me now bridget the elephant and then on the next one we've got hank the sheep he actually came with the stash bag for free uh rebecca the sea turtle lionel the lemur and emma the bunny and then on the bottom we've got bryce the shark florence the orca and estella the clockwork bird clockwork i'm not really sure i don't know if there's something else to that anyway clockwork bird clockwork yeah no <laughs> i'll look that up later and i'll let you know i don't know if it's just clockwork bird or something else i'll find the bit of paper in there actually so yeah so they are all just iron on patches so that is my collection so i've got another four to add to the collection um this is a very large bag it's handy to store i've got all my toft yarn in here and then i've kept like a sado these are all the cards so the cupcake ones came with actual patterns on the back which is nice so that one's for a, a cherry and then the orange one is for a carrot um oh there you go estella the clockwork nightingale i knew it wasn't just bird that wasn't bad though was it testing my knowledge of all my patches so yeah these are all the, all the patches that we and i've kept all the little cards because there's a nice little pocket in the back for me to put them all in so i've got four to add to it's gonna to have to go on the back now of my collection i think i've got space for one more on the front but um yeah everyone's got stash bags with all their patches on so Toff tend to give them out as freebies rather than selling them with kits they have done it as i say more recently um on create and craft because of the fact that people can't get to shows um i know that ali pally was the only one really i could get to because a lot of the shows tend to be up north um sort of harrogate um places like that etc um near to obviously where they are so there's less travel so it's nice for me to be able to get some but i won't and again some of the rare ones go for crazy money but i won't won't pay crazy money i just like to get the ones that i like the look of so that was my stash bag to show you with my patches um the toft obsession is real my advent i've ordered an advent for from toft which i mentioned in a previous video and that comes with um, a free patch and a pin within the advent. So that'll be another one to add to my collection. But because they've released all their Christmas items, I did place an order. So my Three Kings pins that I showed you came. And also I got a little Toft Crow Your Own bag um, because I ordered, and you can see that, a poinsettia kit. So this was a new one. Um, they released their um, uh, special limited edition yarn for this Christmas, which is Festive Ruby. And you can see that? Yeah, that's picking that up quite nicely. Sparkle. So it is actually a red sparkle in here, um, not a gold or a silver. And that is the Festive Ruby colour that they've, um, I think they've put on their Instagram that they're down to the last two boxes of this now. Um, because I only did a limited run of it. So I ordered my poinsettia kit with the festive red because I thought that'd be quite nice to have a poinsettia in sparkle. Um, so I ordered, I could have had a uh, postcard pattern, but I decided not to. I just went for the PDF. So they put that in my toft. <laughs> I've just looked at the label. This is quite cool. So they've done like a contents label here. And it says what you've got in terms of your yarn. How to grow. Crochet with a three millimeter hook, um, add stuffing. Growth period, crochet your flower within 10 to 15 hours. <laughs> Care, no need to water once established. Wash with a gentle soap if needed. This is an adult only craft item. I like that. <laughs> it's just a little, little thing there. Um, so I got 75 grams. So I've got three balls of the festive yarn and I treated myself to an extra one. Um, and then I got two, so I got 50 grams of, I went for green. So with the Toft kits, um, you can literally find um, a pattern that you like. So for the poinsettia, I could have done a yellow one if I wanted to. They let you pick, you know, lime or green for the body. 
yellow, red, whatever colour you want to do. So it's really nice that you can pick your own colours rather than just saying, oh, I like the pattern, but I don't really like the colours or I fancy something different. So I got it all in a nice little baggie, my little cry your own bag, which I have a couple of these already because I did get a couple of flower monsters when they came out. So that arrived this week. So pretty pleased with that. I've got some other bits that I'm working on at the moment, so I can't touch touch that just yet but um so yeah that's toft i will link their website i'll also link their um socials but i will also link for you as well the toft alex group um that's on facebook that i've joined because there's a lot of stuff going on in there we get to find out about what's new and what's coming um as i say the christmas has all just been released online and they've also released um some of their more colorful colors because they started i think with neutral tones um, so they've got some pur uh, amethyst purple um, that's gone into both the Aran and Chunky and also their fine range now, whereas it was just in sort of the DK before. So um, it's nice to get the colours in, in a different range. I, I stick with DK, as you know, but a lot of people, if you want to size things up or down, will work in um, different size yarns, different thicknesses. But yeah, check out Toft if you like um, Amigurumi. It's all very easy to follow the patterns and Toft have a YouTube channel as well, um, covering all the stitches, etc. Um, so sometimes I've had to do it and go and refer to one because I'm like, oh, God, I don't know what I'm doing here. And really easy to follow videos that you can um, watch um, and see. But the axolotls I made recently were the Toft pattern. Um, I'll try and get together some photos of some of the Toft makes that I've done, but I've still got a lot on my list to do, including what's in the books. But yeah, that is Toft and the whole Toft obsession. So um, fellow crocheters who know Toft will know the obsession. Um, but yeah, check them out. Thanks for watching. This was a bit of a long one, sorry. Um, but I thought I'd get it all in in one video because I sort of briefly mentioned them to Ali Pally um, when I went uh, last month and met Kerry. So yeah, thanks for watching and I'll catch you all next time. See you later.